Hello and welcome to this video of LLM, Gen AI on Google Cloud, do-it-yourself tutorials. In this video, we are gonna see how to calculate mortgage payments and create a very simple mortgage rate, rate calculator using Google Generative AI APIs. In order to do that, I have written a question here. So this is the page that we are gonna create as part of our session today and the video today, and we have built this with Gradio. To calculate interest and total amount paid on loan principle of 10,000 over 10 years with the interest rate of 5%. Now what we wanted to do is create a plan and in a JSON format, create a plan where it, it, it'll tell you the interest rate and total principal plus interest. So how much principal this person is gonna end up paying over 10 years for $10,000 for 5% per annum. And by the way, this quote is being prepared for this customer with the address and phone number. Look at the output. You have John Smith, which is the customer. You have address, just the street name, and it's able to identify the city and the state and the zip and the phone number. So the, these are the details that are provided in the, in the quote itself, right? Now you have loan amount term and interest rates. So this is this data. The total interest it was able to calculate and it also calculated total amount to be paid. So how did we build this? What kind of instruction tuning did we do? This is what we're gonna learn. So let's get started. Number one, what you're gonna do is in order to do the mortgage rate, cal rate calculator, you are going to calculate interest. This is your instruction question, right? Then it provides you the output in the JSON format that you just saw. This is how it looks like. Now, what you're gonna do is, I'll give you five seconds to pause the video. You pause the video for five to 10 seconds. And then look at this example. This is a one shot example. Pause the video now, look at it. Now, what we are doing here is we are providing an example to the Gen AI, one shot example, wherein you say extract all information as JSON. This is an instruction. Input, calculate, and the quote is being prepared. So this is what we passed, remember, in this question. Very similar, but this was for a different person with a different amount. Years could be different, but it's same for now. You could have a different interest rate. For example, if I do not say 5%, I just say 10%, it'll still gonna work. So it still works, 10,000 interest, and total amount is the total amount paid. The total amount to be paid is loan amount plus the interest. I can do 15%, right? It, it works. So 15,000 and 25,000 is 10,000. You can even do like any amount, any figure. If I wanted to do like uh, $21,101, right? You could still do that. Make sense? So what I'm trying to explain here is that you could easily work out different amount, numbers of years and stuff. But an example has details and look at this. Here in an example, I just said 16,000. I did not explain this model, how to calculate interest. I just say calculate interest. It's a simple interest by the way. And then you have total amount to be paid. Now let's see how the examples we provided. So you, I'm gonna show you how you create this, but do the same thing. And this is the output in the JSON format. Let's get started and do it. So please refer to the previous set of videos on explanation of how do you get started on Colab. So this is a Colab. You would find this Colab in the Google Drive, uh, in the GitHub, which is mentioned in the description section of the video below. First of all, you will install this package. This package is upgrading your Google Cloud platform. Once you have installed it, I'm not gonna run it. You gotta go and run and say restart runtime. This is important. If you do not do this, your code is not gonna work. Number two, as in the previous case, 
this authorizes authenticates this user on the Google console. This is my project name, but after the run, I'm gonna remove the project name from here and you have to enter your project name. So this is my project name. You gotta provide project name here. Then I init the AI platform and I take text Python 001 model. All of this have already been explained in the previous video. Now. I'm gonna create a function. This is new. I'm gonna create a function, predict large language model sample. Now, you have a prompt string. You need to provide, these are quotes, these are comments. You need to provide an example as here. So what you do is you, you set a variable as example, providing the detailed example of how do you calculate interest, total interest, and amount? So which format you would prefer as an output, just provide there. Next, model.predict. Remember the model? The model is text bison 001. Model.predict, you do a concatenation of example and prompt. So what is a prompt? Prompt is this. Always, you provide this as a prompt and then provide with an example. So automatically, in the background, this example will always be concatenated with the, with the model.predict statement. And prompt is what you enter. Temperature is zero. I've just put it constant. You can change it and try it out. These are my hyperparameters that I tune for this model and then return the response. So the, the key is the example is concatenated with the prompt. You try to do this, right? You wanna generate an invoice in a certain format, try doing it, right? If you wanna, if you wanna start creating ETL, extract, transform and, transform and load, or ELT, extract, lo extract, load and transform, you could do that over here. Next, let's try that. JSON response is, a variable which is returned. So response does text would be the return variable as JSON response. This is the return from the function. So within the function, I'm passing in prompt. The prompt is this, and it returns as JSON response, and I'm printing it over here. If I run this, you would see the details. If I make any changes, John, John R. Smith, and John R. Smith now would be reflected here. Now, let's understand how did we create the interface. There is something known as Gradio. Now, I'm not gonna walk you through the Gradio and how does it work, but imagine Gradio as a very quick and very easy to use interface where you can use it in Colab Notebook or any other Python interface, and it's gonna give you an output in such a fashion that it's formatted. Now, I install Gradio, import Gradio as GR, and I defined a function. QA interface is the function which takes in the question. What is the question? This is the question, which is also the prompt. Now, I say a prompt, Extract all information as JSON dot input. As JSON, input is the question, whatever you pass it, and output is blank. This is mimicking this. So input, output, and extract all information as JSON. All right, next. I'm gonna pass, I'm gonna call this function and pass the prompt, get the JSON as an output and return. So this is a small function that I have written just to pass this and call the, the predict large language this model. Now, this is the interface of Gradio. Very simple, I'm not gonna, as I said, go into detail. Function, you have to define which function needs to be called. Inputs, 
I have commented out all the inputs. If you want to start inputting temperature, uh, you know, the other hyperparameters like token, top P and top K, you could do that. But for now, I'm not doing it. I just have question as an input. Again, use this from the GitHub and try removing and running this slider, make the corresponding changes. Outputs. So you have only one input question, one output JSON. So you have one input question, one output JSON. And then title, description. So you have title, description, and I have selected a theme. Very simple. When you create an, a Gradio interface, you would need to pass in function, inputs, outputs, title, description, Ignore this for now, and then theme. And then you say interface dot launch share equals to true. So when you run this, you would see a small gradio here. So now I can copy this as my input and paste it here and say calculate. And it will do the calculation for me. It will also provide you a link if you're using Colab. If you open the link, you would get it in a new fresh page and you can do the same thing. So wasn't it simple? This is the power of Gen AI. Again, thank you for watching.